Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. So today, uh, I will continue about our next topic on 4.3 extraction of metals from their ores. Before we start, we have to know what is the meaning of extraction of metal. Extraction of metal is the process to obtain metals from their ore. For example, in our syllabus, we will discuss about iron metal where can be obtained from iron ore. And the other one is tin. We can obtain it from tin ore. Extraction of metal through reduction of metal oxide by carbon. As we know that iron and tin are located below the carbon in reactivity series of metal. So, we can use carbon to extract iron from their iron ores. The diagram shows a blast furnace, uh, the world's largest blast furnace in 1931 in Russia. I found it in a uh, Google image. So this is a blast furnace, a big um, blast furnace. It had about 30 feet and uh, times 10 feet okay now we move to the process of iron extraction what happened in blast furnace okay first uh, a mixture of three substance is added into a blast furnace through the top okay what are the three substance Okay, first is iron ore, number two is coke, and three limestone. Coke is actually carbon C, and limestone is uh, calcium carbonate. Okay, from the bottom of the blast furnace, a very hot air is pumped into the furnace uh, through the bottom. Okay, here. Hot air blast. Uh, the temperature is almost 1,800 degree Celsius. Very hot. The combustion of a mixture of iron ore coke and limestone occurs in blast furnace here okay so how we want to explain it in chemical uh, chemically chemical reaction occurs in blast furnace uh, started with production of iron okay we start with production of iron you can refer to textbook page one three nine okay first carbon will react with oxygen gas to produce carbon dioxide okay i use the symbol of the elements uh, and this uh, the compound but uh, this is not a balance equation you will learn about balance equation in form four Okay, uh, carbon and oxygen react to produce carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide that is produced react with the rest of the hot coke to form carbon monoxide. Okay, carbon dioxide plus carbon to produce carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is uh, very important. Why? Because it is a 
strong reducing agent okay remember before this i said that uh, extraction through reduction of metal metal oxide by carbon Oxide plus carbon to produce iron and carbon dioxide, and iron two oxide plus carbon also produce iron two, uh, iron and carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide also reduce iron oxide into iron. Okay, iron three oxide plus carbon monoxide. We got iron and carbon dioxide. Carbon two oxide react with carbon monoxide and produce iron and carbon dioxide. Okay, so as you can see, all the reaction will produce iron and carbon dioxide. Okay, where we will collect the uh, iron. The iron will be seen uh, at the bottom of the uh, blast furnace because the molten iron is high in density. Okay. Okay. From time to time, uh, the molten iron is trapped off and channeled into mold and allowed to cool and freeze. The molten iron that has solidified is known as cast iron. Okay. What is molten slag? Uh, remember before I told you about limestone, calcium carbonate. Okay, production of slag started with limestone or calcium carbonate decomposes to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Calcium oxide will react with impurities such as sand or silicon dioxide in iron ore to form slag or calcium silicate. Okay, what is the function of slag? Slag is used to make the base of buildings and bread. Okay, student. I think that's all for now. We will continue to the next topic, chapter 5, thermochemistry, next time. So, uh, happy doing your homework. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.